Thank you for joining the Rising Hope Farms community of volunteers. By giving your time and talents to help those in need, you will get back a life-changing experience. The purpose of this video is to give you clear steps to become a trusted horse leader at Rising Hope. We believe in keeping all of our riders safe at all times. At Rising Hope Farms, we use the highest level of safety standards. As a horse leader, you should already be comfortable handling a horse. You will be responsible for where the horse goes and how fast he goes during the lessons. If it's your first time, there will be a trained horse leader to take you through the process. About 500 feet south of the Rising Hope Farm sign, located down the asphalt driveway, you will arrive at the Rising Hope Farm's barn Park your car and head to the barn. Check the schedule on the board to see which horse you are assigned to, the tack used, and who is the rider. The tack room is located in back of the barn west side. There you'll find the right adaptive tack for the needs of your rider. Check stalls to make sure they are clean, then get your horse's halter and lead rope and head out to the pasture. Bring the horse in and tie him up behind the barn. Thoroughly check the horse for bruises, cuts, scrapes, and any other injuries. There will be a bucket of brushes with your horse's name in the tack room. Groom your horse and clean and check hooves. Tack the horse up with the assigned tack. Different tack is used for different riders' needs. We may also use specific stirrups or no stirrups. Specific types of reins may be needed as well. Once the horse is prepared, walk him around in the arena and assure they are able to see the various equipment, toys, and games that are prepared. Secure the tack one more time to make sure it's safe for the rider. When the rider is ready, take the horse to the loading ramp. The horse leader walks into the ramp area backwards to make sure the horse doesn't injure himself bumping into the ramp. Always stop in front of the horse. You must not leave the front of the horse. After the rider is mounted, wait on the instructor and rider to give the command, walk on. Then lead the horse out of the ramp straight. Say, walk on. Walk on. You need to assure that the horse stays close enough to the ramp that the sidewalker who is on the ramp can still have contact with the rider until completely clear of the ramp. When clear of the ramp, stop and wait for the instructor to check the tack one more time. Also make sure the rider is balanced in the saddle. Pay close attention as the instructor gives the activity directions to the riders at the beginning of the lesson. So at the end, the end of the lesson, they should have a little bouquet of flowers if they can take them off. Knowing the rider's goals will inform you as to where to lead the horse through the arena. Knowing the rider's ability will inform you on how much interaction you need to have with the rider. For example, can the rider understand verbal commands, hand signals, using reins to woe, and basic steering. As the lesson progresses, the instructor will continue to guide you as to when to assist the rider if they're having trouble. Listen to the instructor at all times. Make sure your horse is calm and relaxed. Always stay at the head of the horse where you can watch the horse for reactions. You are not to talk to the rider or the instructor unless there is a problem or the instructor gives you permission to do so. Your job is to keep the horse doing his job. You accomplish this by using various leading techniques determined by the needs of the rider.
The first is active leading on the lead line. The horse gets all direction from the leader. You are in full control of the horse. As a horse leader, you always want to make sure your shoulder is at the head of the horse so you can always see the horse's body language. You also want with your right hand to hold about a foot away from the horse's head. And with your left hand, you want to circle your lead like this and then grab it in the middle. You do not want to grab it like this because the horse, if he takes off running or anything, your hand will get trapped. So always do the outside in like a figure eight and hold him like this. Passive leading on the lead means the rider is giving the horse direction but not completely. You still have hold of the lead and can take control if necessary. When you do the passive lead, your hand comes back further from the horse's head, about three feet. And so this gives the rider complete control of the horse. Um, you are also in control of the horse because you still have a hold of him on your lead. But the rider is now controlling the stops and turns and trots of the horse. You still keep your shoulder at the horse's head and watch your horse at all times. Passive leading off the lead means the rider is moving to independence by riding without the horse leader having a lead line attached to the lead but you are still very close to the horse and able to quickly gain control. At this lead, you want your rider to have full control of the horse. So you simply unhook your lead line from the halter, but you still stay beside your horse, watching him at all times, ready to jump in if you need to, but your rider has complete control of the horse at this time. Working as a spotter means you will be in the center of the ring, always attentive and ready to assist at any time. The horse leader, instructor, or sidewalker may see something that leads them to call for an emergency dismount. Off, off, off! To initiate the dismount, they will call off, off, off. In an emergency, the horse leader takes full control of the horse. The sidewalkers will handle the rider dismount, but it will be very important for you as the horse leader to stay in front of the horse, keeping him calm. You will communicate any horse issues and concerns to everyone else. Follow directions from the instructor once the rider is off the horse and on the ground. When it's time to dismount, you will follow the same procedures as the mount. If you dismount at the ramp, walk backwards into the dismount area to make sure the horse and rider don't bump into anything. If your rider dismounts to the ground, keep the horse steady. Always stand in front of the horse when stopped. The sidewalkers and instructor will dismount the rider. Walk your horse up to the barn, untack, brush, and put back into their stall or in the pasture. It might be a little worn out from the day's activity, but it will be a good kind of worn out, knowing that you made a big difference in the health and well-being of a person with special needs. Thank you for choosing to be a part of the Rising Hope Farms team.